Hello everyone, it's me Josh, and I'm going to be talking about a quarterback who decides he's not going to stand or rise during the National Anthem. Everyone knows his name, so I'm not even going to say his name. But I have to say, I have no respect for anyone who doesn't stand for the National Anthem. Oh, we're a country of oppression? What are you talking about? You make $17 million to play on a football team. Oh yeah, you're, you're talking about oppression? Why don't you uh, give your money away to those that are oppressed? Oh, you talk about pl police brutality. Hmm. Oh, you mean criminals who were shot and killed by police officers, but then somebody else shoots cops and kills them? Yeah. People are being... Cops are being targeted. And the thing about police officers, they have a split-second decision to make. Because when they're in a situation where someone's pointing a gun at them, they have a split second to react to that. And then we got a president who made this toxic cloud. It's unbelievable. You know, if Martin Luther King Jr. was alive, he would condemn the actions of these people. He would condemn the actions of Black Lives Matter movement. A movement, by the way, who has zero interest in what's going on in Chicago with black on black crime. They want to sit there and argue. And then I, I deal with people who argue with me all the time over an opinion. I said, yeah, he had he has a right to exercise whatever he says, but that doesn't mean I have to 100% agree with it. You know, while men and women in uniforms are serving our country, fighting in a war that nobody really wanted, but you know what? They go because some politicians decided, hey, we need to go to war. Now, Afghanistan's one thing. Iraq was another thing, but then again, what were we doing there anyways? You know, we're looking for weapons of mass destruction, which proved to be false, but you know what? Everyone's like, well, blame Bush for that. But then, after leaving Iraq, we have ISIS to deal with. We have a lot of things going on in our country. And if you don't like America so much, then please, leave. No one said you have to stay here if you don't like oppression. And, and besides that, the most oppressive thing that is happening right now in our country is politicians and our government. They oppress people. The Democrats are the most racist party ever. They wrote the Jim Crow laws. They wanted segregation. And hell, if North did not win the Civil War, then it would be, we'd be all be, still be divided. Slavery would still exist. It's been abolished. So it's time to grow up. And I, I'm just, I'm sick and tired of people like this. Yeah, you have a right to say whatever you want to say, but don't expect people to respect you because you haven't earned it. And you know what? You, you would have earned it if you just kept your mouth shut. But you know what? Yeah, freedom of speech. And you know what's funny? I, when I write an opinion or I make a video with an opinion, unless I'm directly talking to you, most people are being total dumbasses on it. Like, they don't understand something. They don't get it. Why am I angry about something? I can tell you right now, I'm fuming over here. And I hope, no, I pray to God that the NFL does something about this. Because that's disrespectful. If you don't want to stand during the National Anthem, then what are you doing playing on a football team here in America. You know what? I wish there was an international team. You know what? No, I I wish there was a team in Alaska because I think that would be the best place for somebody to be traded like that. Go freeze your butt off. $18 million piece of trash. Alright, well, I got to go. So I'm going to talk to you all later. Click like, sub, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Friend me on Facebook, whatever you want to do. I don't really give a rat's ass. So, by the way, 
signing off.